Hi everyone, in this brief video, I'll be showing you guys how you can download, set up and use a MetaMask crypto wallet. Now for many of us here in the crypto space, MetaMask is the primary tool that we can use to interact with a variety of blockchain applications. These applications are called decentralized applications or dApps for short. And these dApps can range from decentralized finance platforms that allow you to swap back and forth between various cryptocurrencies, decentralized lending platforms that allow you to lend and borrow digital assets, to even interacting with various NFT platforms and even blockchain enabled games. Now most of these dApps that I mentioned are going to be running on the Ethereum blockchain, however the MetaMask wallet can be configured to work with other blockchains such as the Avalanche blockchain, the Binance Smart Chain and even the upcoming Flare Network blockchain. Now this wallet truly is a Swiss army knife among other crypto wallets because within the wallet itself you can even buy, store, send and swap your tokens. As I mentioned before, explore blockchain applications by connecting them with your wallet while owning your data at the same time. On their website, you can even watch this interactive video just so you can get started with understanding how to use the MetaMask wallet. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to download it, use it and install it. Now the first thing I want you to be aware of is the proper website for MetaMask. Please go to the right website. It is metamask.io slash download. And if you want a nice QR code to send you directly to the correct website, you can always scan this QR code with your phone and it should take you to the proper website. Now MetaMask can be installed on your browser as an extension. It can be downloaded on iOS and Android phones. It also is supported by many other browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, even the Edge browser. However, I would recommend using it on Brave as the Brave browser has a number of privacy enhancing features that I would always recommend people to have. So I go up here and click install MetaMask for Brave and I'll be taken to the Chrome web store. Here is where we'll go and click add to Brave, add extension, and I should be seeing a pop-up happening in the top right hand corner of my computer. Now this is the getting started page, but before I proceed, you may want to go here in the top right hand corner and click on extensions to open up this pane here. You should probably pin MetaMask to your extension toolbar so it's always accessible for you when you want to use it. Now we can go and click get started. Now here you are presented with two options. If you are a previous user of MetaMask and you have your backup done correctly, you can always come here to import your previous wallet by entering in your secret recovery phrase. If you are a new user, you may want to come here and click create a wallet. Now this page simply asks you if you want to allow MetaMask to collect some anonymous user data. You can either agree or disagree. In this case, I'm going to click no thanks. Now you're asked to create a password for your wallet. I would recommend creating a nice strong password. Click the checkbox and create. Now the password that we just created was only to stop unauthorized users from opening your wallet. However, the most important thing that you must understand about any crypto wallet is securing your recovery phrase, sometimes called your seed words or your seed phrase. Your recovery phrase is like the master key to your wallet and your funds. And therefore, if you lose it or it's stolen, you could potentially lose all of your cryptocurrency. So how should you save your passphrase? You can save it in a password manager, a bank vault, a safety deposit box. You can write it down and store it in multiple secret locations. For me personally, I store my passphrases in my stone book. This is a specialized notebook that is specifically designed for storing things like this. Also, I just want you to know, please do not take a photo of your secret recovery phrase and you should try to avoid typing it out in any kind of keyboard unless it is absolutely necessary. Also, you should never share your passphrase with anyone, not even with MetaMask. If someone asks you for your passphrase or your recovery phrase, then more than likely it is going to be a scam and they're trying to steal your funds. 
So I would recommend you watch this video, but once you do, you can go and click next. And here is your secret recovery phrase. You can click to reveal it. Of course, I'm making a video. So this recovery phrase is for a temporary test wallet, only for the purposes of this video. One other thing to know, you can also download your recovery phrase and keep it stored on an encrypted hard drive. So now that I've written it down, all I'm left to do now is go and click next. Now MetaMask will now give me a quick test to ensure that I have written it down properly. I must select the words in the correct order that they appeared in my recovery phrase. Oil, Jaguar, Frozen, Nothing, Base, Puppy, Name, Half, Affair, Modify, and Dutch. Once that is done, I go and click Confirm. Congratulations, I've passed the test and all is now done. Now the first thing I'm greeted with is a little update summary. And if I scroll down, I'll see a QR code that will allow me to install MetaMask on my mobile wallet. However, I'm just going to exit out for now. So this is what my MetaMask wallet looks like. Right now it is empty. This is my Ethereum address. I can click the copy and send to anyone so I can receive Ethereum. I can buy, send or swap. And if I have any assets, they will appear here in this list. Now, if you want to customize your wallet, you can always go here in the three dots and click on account details and rename your wallet. And just like before, this is the QR code that represents your Ethereum public address that you can send to anyone to receive funds. You can view any transaction on the blockchain and you can even export your private keys. Now, if you want to add various Ethereum tokens to your wallet, you can go down here and click add token and you can search for the token name. If it is a popular token, it should show up. In this case, I'll look for Uni and click Uniswap, next and add token. Now this token is going to be added to the token list in my wallet. However, as you can see, my balance for this token is also zero. Let me now add a token that is slightly lesser known. If I go and search for this token, I may not find it in the list. In cases like that, you have to go to add custom token and you must know the contract details for that token. It just so happens that I do and it turns up as the Gabby token. I click next, add token. As you can see, I have 700 Gabby token. Now the reason why this balance is not zero is simply because this wallet is not the wallet that I created just now, but this is one of my personal wallets that I would have just restored. I would have also went ahead and restored one of my other primary wallets. So you guys can see what a wallet looks like when it has funds inside of it. I'm also going to send some Ethereum from this wallet into this wallet. The first thing you would want to do is copy the address and head back over to the wallet that I want to send the funds from. In this case, it'll be my Brave wallet. I go and click send, and I must paste in that Ethereum address. Now bear in mind, I'm showing you using two different MetaMask wallets, but this could be any Ethereum enabled wallet. Once I paste that address, I'll be asked now what asset I want to send. In this case, I want to send some ETH. I'll type in the amount which would be $21 worth of ETH. I will set my speed from fast, average, or slow. In this case, I will put it to fast and click next and then confirm. Here you can see the transaction is pending. Once it is finished, I will receive a notification to let me know the funds have been transferred successfully. And there you go, this is the confirmation message. Once well, I head back over to my Caribbean Crypto Tips wallet, you will see I have $21 worth of ETH, which is 0 0.01 Ethereum. The only thing left now to show you guys is how to connect your MetaMask wallet to any DeFi platform or any Ethereum dApp. For this example, I'm going to use Uniswap. 
which is a decentralized trading protocol. Once I go and click launch the app, I'll be prompted to connect to a wallet. In this case, I will choose MetaMask. It'll pop up and I will use my Caribbean Crypto Tips wallet and click next and then connect. And just like that, you have connected your Ethereum wallet to a particular decentralized platform. And now I can start interacting with this platform using the Ethereum blockchain. I can even trade the Ethereum that I would have just added to my wallet, the 0.0. .0 one if for a different token such as the Ave token. I will get 0 0.075 Ave for that trade. Of course if I click swap I will have to confirm the swap on MetaMask once again but of course I'm not going to make this trade because I don't have enough funds or enough gas to make this trade. If you are into digital art or NFTs you may want to head over to this site called Rarible Dot com and as this site loads I'll probably be prompted to connect with my MetaMask wallet as you see here connect and now I'm able to enter this NFT website I'm now able to trade buy and sell or even create my NFTs on this platform and of course using the same Ethereum blockchain and I already have another tutorial video dedicated to showing you how to use this platform. Now this basically brings me to the end of a MetaMask tutorial video. However, there are other settings that I can show you. If you go in here in the top right hand corner and click on that icon, you can go down to settings. As you can see, there are a number of tabs with various settings that you can choose from. The main one I want to show you is the network setting. Right now, as you can see, I'm connected to the Ethereum network, but this is where it would come to change or to add any new network that I want, such as the Binance Smart Chain Network or the Avalanche Network. I do have a separate video showing you how to do that as well. So in case you want to change your networks, you can go and look at that video. But this basically is my complete MetaMask tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and comment below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to stay up to date with all of my new video releases. Now this channel is not monetized and if you care to give a small donation of Ethereum you can do so at this address below. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips and I thank you for watching.